Hello everyone. So today, let us talk about uh, images, images in uh, Emacs. And uh, although I have covered this in the past, but uh, I thought I'll probably uh, talk about how you can uh, manage the images in your uh, org file. Now, recently I started, uh, although I was trying to avoid it for a long time, but I started using images, inserting images in my in my org files because now I, I have to create some documents or some material where uh, I believe having some images will help. Now if, if I show you one of my org file and by the way I just opened this uh, org file and uh, because on top I have this uh, this particular uh, setup which is called as uh, inline images and at the same time when you use I mean you, you can actually define some startup uh, variables that you want to have for example i i want that whenever i open this particular file not all the files but especially this particular file uh, i want the inline images to be visible so of course you know this will ensure that if i have any inline inline images it will show up you can of course remove this from the startup uh, variable on top or you can actually toggle the images let me just uh, or toggle inline images so now the image is of course not really showing at all now this is of course uh, a way to do it locally but there is also a way to do it globally so if you want i mean i'm just i, I don't use it because i prefer my org files uh, uh, with nothing but text and images are usually you know in some of the documents not everywhere else so there is a there is a variable called org startup with inline images variable that you can set which uh, will uh, as the name suggests it will ensure that globally across your e across your emacs you will have this uh, setup of inline Im images which you can disable or maybe you can use uh, in your uh, header uh, in, the, in the startup here called no inline images so you do have this option here called uh, uh, basically instead of inline images you can also use uh, no inline images so it's a very simple thing but uh, i think uh, if you know how to do it and if you want to make sure that you know how your images will behave in your org file so you can use either of, either of these methods personally if you're looking for my opinion i i think uh, setting it up for individual files makes sense uh, because for me for my workflow because i don't use images at, at all so wherever applicable i use uh, inline in, inline images but at the same time if i show you my uh, my, my my org file let me just uh, try to show you what i don't know what happened to my to my yes so okay so wh what i also do Sometimes, based on uh, what you're doing, you can actually toggle these images. I mean, you can, of course, toggle this image uh, yourself. But uh, for some of the modes, uh, for example, if I'm, uh, let us say, I mean, recently I was exploring because I was working with images and I'll probably make a proper video on this topic. So sometimes when you are making, let us say, some online documentation with images or maybe if you're writing a book, like I write books, I have to rely on screenshots and uh, although I take my screenshots and I don't really personally mind then inserting them later but I think having this ability where you can take the screenshot and then insert it straight away is also wonderful so I am actually playing with this it works really well by the way I mean I found this snippet on uh, on uh, stack overflow <laughs> where I mean you can find a lot of wonderful things so basically what this is doing here is that it will the moment you run this command my org screenshot it will uh, let you take the screenshot like an area of your uh, screen and then it will create that image in the same directory where you have that org file and then after it has done this magic like it will insert the image for you but if you look here the very last thing is uh, basically the uh, the the displaying of the images so it will ensure that the images are displayed so these things you can do on neat basis as well if you want to ensure that the images are uh, 
displayed or not displayed but you can always toggle them manually but today i thought i wanted to actually talk about this uh, variable that you can set globally or you can set it up for one individual file and that is it that is all i wanted to talk about today in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye